Christina and welcome to my channel. If you are an existing beauty, welcome back. And if you are a new beauty, welcome. My channel is about beauty, luxury, lifestyle, and fashion. If those are subjects that you are interested in, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell down below so that you'll be notified every time I upload a video. So today's episode um, is all about my foundation, highlight, and contour, right? So I have been wearing makeup for quite some time and I've had some friends and family members ask me specifically about this product process and I promised them I'd make a video dedicated to this my foundation highlight and contour so I'm going to tell you guys I'm going to do it real quickly because I am on my way to work as well as being in the process of filming a Valentine's Day inspired get ready with me hence the eyes I've, are already done um so uh I am going to chat with you guys through the, through this video but I am going to try and make it as fast as possible but still explain to you guys um what i'm doing so that you you too can do this at home right because there's no better feeling than being able to do your own makeup right so you don't have to hire anyone and pay them a hundred or hundreds of dollars to do your makeup um you can just go do buy purchase the products and with practice learn to apply it yourself so that's the goal so of course you're going to start with a clean and moisturized face i don't care if you have oily oily skin or dry skin uh, or combination skin you definitely want to moisturize your face prior to putting on your on makeup you want to moisturize your face period believe it or not for my oily skin people it does help with the oil and for us dry skin girls myself included it certainly helps with our skin so now that my face is clean and hydrated, I'm going to apply a uh, primer. Primer not only helps your makeup to last longer, it also builds a bit, puts a barrier between your face and the makeup, right? So you do have some primers that fill in the pores. Uh, my favorite is Benefits Professional when you're wanting a kind of like a smooth look, maybe a more matte look, especially if you're oily. Um, I like to use Benefits Professional to fill in my pores when I need to. Right now, because it's the winter time and my face is super dry, my skin is stupid dry, real, real, real dry um, during the colder months. So I'm going to be using Milk's Hydro Primer. Um, yeah, Milk's Hydro Primer on my face and it just helps lock in that moisture as well as put that barrier between my face and the makeup as well as cause my makeup to last a little, um, to last longer. All the things that primers promise to do. Now, I'm not going to lie, when using this, you will look a little bit more dewier, if that's the word. You'll look dewy. Um, this is not a mattifying primer like the uh professional so if this was the summer months and today is going to be a hot day but that's neither here nor there if this was a summer month and i was trying to look a little more mattified i would and not so worried about my skin being so dry um i would use the professional so yeah the the key to primer is not only do you want to apply it to your face you want to let it sit for about a minute you want it to sit for a minute um, so, to kind of activate it on your skin. Okay, so I'm starting with uh, foundation, of course, and today's foundation is Lancome's Tonky Doll. This is in the shade 435 Bis W. Now, this shade is a little, I mean, a smidge dark for me, um, but that's fine. Um, that's fine. It's not so dark where it's just you know standing out um i think my shade is 420 i'm not sure um uh, i this is my second or third shade that i'm trying with lancome i love this foundation i mean love it and this is the close closest that i've gotten to my complexion um but it, like i mentioned before it is a smidge dark in the summer months i do wear um 450 because in the summer months i tend to get really really tanned um uh fun fact 
Uh, I used to wear NARS All Day Weightless Luminous Foundation in the winter months or at the time so that I wasn't tanned, but they discontinued it and went and switched over to this one. I used it, but I wasn't a big fan. Sorry. Um, so I think I'm just going to put it in my freelance kit. Uh, or I might try it again, give it another try uh, later when it's not, when my skin is not as dry. But I wasn't a big fan. I just didn't really care for the finish at all. Um, that's the new NARS foundation. I don't even know the real name. And this color is uh, Syracuse also. That's another thing. The color was really off for me. Um, so I'm just kind of sticking to what I know. I do love this particular foundation. I have been wearing it literally for years and this shade is 435 bis w and it's a little dark but not too dark for my complexion and this makes me look like i have a little bit of a tan a little bit of a tan versus this one this one is the 450 uh, suede in and this is my shade uh for the summer months when i'm really tanned because I like to get in the pool and stuff and I'm I, and I be real, real, real in. So, yeah. Uh, when I'm doing my foundation, first I start with a very small drop. You see how small that drop is? And a flat angle brush. And I like to kind of carve out my eyebrows first. Because, um... For me, I have the tendency of once I'm starting my foundation... I kind of get carried away and I'll mess up my eyebrows. So to prevent that from happening, I just like to apply foundation using this small flat shader brush. I already have foundation on it. And yes, it needs to be clean. Don't judge me. Judge your mama. Um, and I just like to go ahead and apply it in the areas where I would apply foundation. Some people do this with a um, concealer. I like to do it with my foundation because I don't want a halo around my eyebrows but either way it's fine it's the end of the weekend but I still wanna turn up Yeah, I still wanna turn up All I want is to go again But you ain't picking your phone up Why you messing my head up? Any night, any day Let me take you away All I need is just saying yeah, 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 yeah Better nights, better days When you're here with me, babe Cause you're all that I crave So I wanna So that uh, kind of does it for the eyebrow section. And now I'm going to, going to apply foundation all over the rest of my face. I'm just going to take two pumps. And if I need to add more, I will kind of work it into the skin to kind of warm it up a bit. And I like to start by applying it to my nose first. Here, 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 here. And then just kind of go and put the rest wherever I feel like I might need the extra coverage. And like I said, if I need to apply more, I will. Um, I'm going to be using a foundation brush. My brush needs to be clean, but this is the brush that I use for my foundation brush. Like I said, Judge your Mama. Um, but it is a kind of a flat head brush. And mine is at an angle, but yours don't have to be. I have several different ones. All of them need to be clean right now, which is why I'm using this one. But I like to blend out my foundation with the brush, not a beauty blender. Beauty blend blender seems to soak up the product. So to me, it's, you're not really blending it in. You're actually just removing product. And I like for mine to be blended. And if you see, I'm kind of dabbing with a slight drag. That's the best way to describe it because I'm not really dragging it. I'm just 
kind of like that. And you can also see I'm not putting it under my eyes as well because I'll be applying a concealer underneath my eyes. We got love guaranteed and I have to know say I'm pinching it to get kind of this section in between my nose. And keep in mind, I'm going to be adding a few more products to my face. So it's not too important that I kind of build up on this. Because where I need coverage, I'm going to get coverage. Because I'm going to be adding more product to my face with my highlight and contour and setting powders. Don't be so hard to reach Just pick up your phone Tell me where you be Cause I gotta know Let me know when you're ready Cause I made reservations Okay, so next we're gonna go in with concealer. I usually use one of two concealers depending on the look that I'm creating and how high I want my, um, how bright I want my highlight to be, right? If this was a darker color, a darker eyeshadow look, then I would go with the more lighter uh, concealer shade. This is Kat Von D's Lock It Concealer, one of my absolute faves. Um, in neutral one of my absolute faves uh, but I'm not going to be doing that today because like I mentioned this is a daytime look so I'm going to be going in with my trusty dandy handy dandy tart creaseless um and yes I said creaseless this is not shape tape and I don't know the color of this because I can't say it but this is my Tarte's Creaseless Concealer. It's closer to my um, complexion. And I don't apply a lot of concealer. I just dab here and here. I find when you put too much, it creases. And it just don't look good. And then I'm going to put uh, one stripe down my nose. I always use this one on my nose, even when I'm using the brighter shades under my eyes. Like my foundation, I like to blend out my concealer with a brush. Uh, and you can see it's kind of a dent, flat brush. So, yeah. Too many invitations And the last night was heavy. heavy I need communication Tell me where's your location Used to talk 24-7 Every other second Just to make sure we were up to date Now it's closer to 11 And I ain't hearing nothing I just need to know that you're okay I 
Okay, and excuse the noise. Um, my kids are here getting ready for school. So it's a lot going on. Um, and they have a fan on. So I don't know if y'all can hear it, but I can definitely hear it. So the next thing I'm going to do is do uh, um, my contour. And for contour, I use Max NC50. And I use the stick foundation. And I just put some on each ring finger. Kind of mesh the ring fingers together to warm it up. And that's how we do the nose. Then I like to take a little and then I'm going to blend it out using this flat brush. This is a MAC. 130 brush 130 se it's the short version and yes like i said i know my brushes need to be clean don't judge me i will make up almost every day so my brushes are dirty even after i clean them because you know i always use them And as you see, I started blending here and then took the leftovers and kind of brought it up to my forehead and my temple area. Take it away, take it away, feeling too good to me. Chilling all day, all in your space is where I want to be. Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough. Now I'm going to blend out my nose. Too caught up in your love. I've been trying to forget, but you won't let me. Something in my brain wants you. I've been hanging by myself, asking for help. So next I'm going to go in with a cream blush and I just take some on my finger and just dab it. Now everything, every cream that I apply, I am going to set it with the powder. And I just put that where I'm going to put the powder blush. Yay. You always make remember everywhere that I put the cream I will also put a powder so this is a part of my uh, foundation um, my highlight and contour okay so um, even though I'm, I'm doing another video um, I will show you guys um, me applying the powders um, it'll just be silent and silent mode because I'll talk through it in my Valentine's Day inspired video so the next step so the next step is to apply a cream highlighter and this is by mac it's a uh luster luster drop i think this is in the color sunkiss and then i just put a little bit on my cheeks here and here I like to take my ring finger and just blend that out. Remember, I will be setting this with the powder. And like I said, I will show you guys me applying the powder on this video. I'm just going to show it to you guys with a music overlay because I, I'll be talking, but I'll be talking for the other video. I hope that makes sense. You're the reason I'm going out of my mind. I just can't stop thinking about you. Next, we're going to be using um, translucent powder to set under the eyes and the nose. And I like to, and I'm, I've actually, this is what I use. And this is a mixture of both Kat Von D's banana style type of powder, which I don't have in my desk right now. It's actually in my uh, freelance trunk 
and I mixed Laura Mercier's um, translucent powder in the color honey. Um, I actually prefer Ben Nye's banana powder, right? But for this, what's in here is this mixed with Kat Von D's um, form of banana powder, right? So, and that that's in my trunk, so I don't have it to show you guys. It's in my makeup trunk for my freelancing, which is in another room, so I don't have it to show you guys. But I also mix in this, which is Laura Mercier's translucent powder. So let me explain. I thought I'd try something new, right, uh, when it comes to setting powder. I have been a Ben Nye banana powder girl for many, many, many years. Um, but I thought I'd try something new, and when I bought it, I bought a lot of it. Some kind of stuck with it. But to be honest, I do prefer Ben Nye's banana powder, and I am going to go back to it. I'll just have to put these um, in my... Um, it's good now. It's not horrible. It's good. I just feel like Ben Nye banana powder, banana, Ben Nye's banana powder is significantly better. This is good, really, really good. But Ben Nye's banana, banana powder for me, for my complexion, for my type of skin is significantly better. And so, um, but I have to use this for, for now because I don't have any banana powder from Ben Nye. But I am going to order some and go back to, um, and go back to it. So, when you're of a certain age or have dry skin or have any, um, maybe you have under eye crease in, something under the eyes that you don't want to show off, you want to go in with your powder lightly and with a light hand. I'm not going to bake. I'm just pushing the product in. And even looking at this, to me, this is too much. Same thing with the other side. The setting powders can go very wrong, very fast. So you always want to start with the light hand. And if you need to add more, you can. Um, I do not bake my under eyes. And... Um, I do not use a lot of powder under my eyes because when well, my skin is very, very dry already and, I, and it will cause too much can cause my concealer to, to crack and crease and then I'll look much older. So I'm just wiping off any, any extra, any extra powder that may be lingering. Because again, I just want to set my under eye makeup. And same thing with the nose, right? You want to use a little bit. And just. So now it's time to set that contour. When I set my contour, I use Max. Uh, I think this is it's their powder Studio Fix. I use Max Studio Fix powder in the color NC forty seven, and this sets my contour. I use I start with the cheeks and use a brush, this style brush. And again, I'm just setting whatever I put cream. All that I crave when I'm gonna take this other angled brush. Yes, it needs to be cleaned. And start here. Gotta get rid of one of those chins. So now we're gonna finish the nose and then we're gonna move on to blush, highlight, and contour. I meant blush and highlight, and remember I said that that's going to be uh music playthrough so i'm just gonna blend it out i'm using that same powder that same studio fix foundation and then i'm going to set it with a setting spray after i apply my blush and highlight do we need space yeah maybe you're brave boy you're my weakness giving we take the love that we make it's my favorite drug Okay, so now it's time to go into the blush and highlight and lips. And we're going to do that, but we're going to do that with music. 
for you guys for this video and I'll be talking through it through my other video so if you want to see how I created this eye look as well as uh, uh, hear me explain the blush and highlight process and the lipstick process go ahead and I'll try to insert that video somewhere in the in this frame if not go ahead and go to my channel and that should be uh, the video that's uploaded today Monday I think it's the 21st or 22nd I'm not sure or the 23rd it might be the 23rd I believe it's the 23rd so yeah um so if you want to see that go ahead and watch that video but we're almost done with this look so um let's get into this blush I'll see you in a minute Okay, so now we're going to talk about setting spray, right? So if I was truly going on a date, I would use this. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. It does exactly what it says it does, plus it is long wearing. This is what I use on my clients when I'm uh, doing their makeup. And this is what I use on days that I want my makeup to last all day long in fact when i use this coupled with the primer underneath my makeup i actually have to scrub my makeup off but i don't want that today right because i'm headed to work not on a real date so i want something that that will last and help my makeup to stay in place but at the end of the day um in a few hours i can just wash it off so today we're going to be using max fix plus spray this is a staple in my collection as well um a oldie but goodie i use it all the time this is the original version i don't get the fancier versions because i just want plain old max fix plus spray and because my skin is dry it does help my skin to remain moisturized and give me a more dewier look right so here goes yeah that's the finished look i hope that you have enjoyed this episode as much as i have enjoyed filming it i must admit it's been a while since i filmed a video like this and I feel kind of like a fish out of water. Like I forgot to light up my whole backdrop until the end of the video. Like who does that? Me, I do that. So, um, but yeah, that does it for today's episode. I hope that you have enjoyed this episode as much as I've enjoyed creating it. If you did, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Please follow me on Instagram at Christina underscore in real life underscore and follow me on tic tac um on tic tock tic tac tic tock uh that's christina in real life in real is spelled r-e-e-l on tic tock and and until next time my beauties be bold be brave and be beautiful oh, do you, i just can't stop thinking